Good afternoon, YouTube modelers. Robert Bishop from RV Model Works coming at you from Moscow, Idaho. Just kind of do a year-end review, wrap-up kind of video. Hope you all had a blessed holiday season. Uh, Christmas time, New Year's is uh, always a great time. Or sometimes if you're, you know, at odds with your family, whatever, it's not a great time. Well, here's to 2022 and hoping you have a better year if that's the case. Anyway, I wanted to bring this to you. It's a Vortex paint mixer by 4E Scientific. Got this off Amazon. My my wife actually got it for me for Christmas. So, But I wanted you to see how well it mixes paint. Just like that, you can see how the bottom is cleared. I'll do this one again. You can see how uh, separated it is. Red's kind of hard. You can't see through the plastic. But that sucker's mixed up. I'm going to change the camera angle on this a little bit. Sorry. I should have done this beforehand. There we go. Now you can see here the Mr. Collar. Same thing. It's you can watch right up around the ring here. See how well that mixes up. And actually, those are really hard to see. I'll stick with ones we can see into. Like this one, you can see there's just a, the, all the pigments in the bottom there. You can see most of the pigments are off the bottom, so about 15, 15, 20 seconds. That's really all you need on these. You can do them any which way. Down. But you can see how that gets the paint right off the bottom. This is Ravel. I moved these over into glass bottles out of those crappy little tins. Splash paint. Next up, same, another competition blue splash paint. See how it just turns blue right away. Um, another Ravel. And that's an enamel. Same with MCW enamels. how quickly that just uh, stirs it right up. Here's a uh, chrome yellow. And you can see how much that's separated out there. Um, I'm just trying to hold it to where you can see it. 
normally I just hold it like this, but I don't want to cover it up for you. Anyway, you can see how well they're mixed. And then, of course, Go Mango is completely separated. Uh, I chose these colors mostly because I haven't used them too much, if at all. You can get the best views that you can have. see how well it looks inside the enamels you probably want to let them run just a little bit longer um, since they are oil based well yeah. looks good to me nice I got a build coming up that I need this go mango and um, MCW is Panther pink I am doing the Marty Robbins uh, Superbird. So, but anyway, that's it on the uh, quick review. Um, as soon as I'm done here, what I'm going to do is do a build review. I'm just going to do a slideshow of the majority of my builds from this year. Um, I've built, I think, 31 kits this year some of them I didn't uh, didn't have very good uh, pictures taken so I didn't do a little collage form but I did uh, did them in collage form so it has multiple each each photo has multiple pictures in it so um, and then lastly I wanted to just go over this uh, my wife also bought me this for Christmas I dropped and broke my Iwata, and she replaced it with the Badger 105. It's a great little airbrush. Um, first mistake I made with it is I run my compressor on 30 PSI because my Procon has a Mac valve on it that I can adjust my air pressure. So I keep my compressor on 30 and didn't even think about it. I went back and watched a video from Barbados Rex, and you got to run these at between 10 and 15 PSI. That's right, 10 to 15 PSI. Doesn't sound like much, but let me tell you what. Um, it, made, it made all the difference, honestly. Um... I would have been struggling if I hadn't went back and looked at his video. Um, very simple to use, very easy to clean. You, the only problem I don't like about this thing is the, the needle sticking out on the end. Uh, but it was smooth. I used it a couple times already, as you can see. It's I should have done a little better job cleaning up, but... Um, this thing really pumps the paint out. Um, you can literally uh, just watch the paint disappear out of that cup as you're spraying. So when you're using this thing, uh, you b better be ready to go through some paint. And honestly, for what I do, uh, all my small parts and stuff... Um, when I'm doing like uh, primer, uh, all my small parts, once I get them prepped out and, and on the tree, um, like this, uh, I think uh, I'll go back to my point three uh, on the PS289. This thing, when I'm doing bodies or large volume areas, definitely be using this thing. Um, it went down smooth. Um, I 
besides me sticking my fingerprint in there. Uh, and this is the effect you get when you don't use primer. <laughs> I gotta go over, sand that down, re primer it this time, and repaint it. Um, but it went, it goes down really smooth. Uh, it dry, it, it uh, goes on a little bit rough, and it looks a little bit rough, but you have to be patient. It, uh, for some reason, after it dries, it just dries out smooth. I don't know. It has something to do with the way it's atomizing the paint, I know, but I just don't know how it's doing it. So, uh, all right, that's it, you guys. Uh, hope you had a great year. Um, Merry Christmas, and you guys have a wonderful New Year's. I'm going to kick this off with uh, uh, my year-end build review. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed day. And if you like the video, please hit that like button down below and God bless.